Corporal Stainer. Daniel Turner. Sargento Gray. Josh Callen. Jason Antonio Gonzalez. Salazar de la Paz de Los Santos. Kevin Sanchez. And I'm a crash fire rescue technician. I'm a 3521, which is a motor T technician. I'm an engineer equipment mechanic. I'm a bulk fueler. You know, I wanted to do something different, something that was going to challenge me. I was like, why not the Marine Corps? I absolutely love it. Every single day, there's always something new. My twin brother really wanted to, and he couldn't. So I joined for him. It's taught me some things um, that I'll probably take to the grave with me. Out so slow. It's resealable. It's from Europe. It's fancy. Other side. Wow! I'm bored. <laughs> Marine Corps just plucks you from your from your nest drags you around the world, and just makes you a man. Would I ever trade my time of service? No, I've had a pretty good, pretty good run so far. I've met a lot of cool people. And more lifelong friends here. Like this is the actual moment where I actually know that I probably hang out with these people. Cool things to give it thrill, but everybody's experience is unique. Whatever they get, they'll make you a hundred times better than they found you. If I got out of the military and I couldn't go back to the factory, I would just win the lottery and retire young. I'm talking like scratch off tickets at the gas station. That's where the real money's at. Yeah. people think that everybody should be in the United States Armed Forces at some point. They, they think it should be just something everybody should do. I completely disagree. The uh, Marine Corps is simply not for everybody. I've always wanted to know I wanted to be like there for people when they need me most. And I think being my time in service has really made me find my calling for firefighting. Kind of hard to go down a different path. I mean, I like a lot of other things, but I do really enjoy fixing stuff. On this memory is meeting you guys, honestly. Me at JWCC, oh. at Jungle Warfare Training, sleeping outside, and uh, waking up at 04 in the morning to go get up and do more training events. And you just look around, and it's like you want to feel bad for yourself, and you want to be mad, but you look around, and everyone just gets it. They've been suffering, and they're just as miserable as you are. But you guys are just still smiling, and you realize that, like, you could go to hell and back with these guys. Five years, uh, I see myself getting out, being, you know, maybe owning a business, maybe um, doing something with marketing, promoting a brand. Uh, I also see myself re-enlisting. Uh, I was looking into the MESET program, maybe becoming an officer, uh, going down that route, uh, using the Marine Corps as an outlet to go to college and uh, finishing up college. The Marine Corps definitely taught me along the way to. Uh, take things a lot more seriously and take advantage of my resources. So that's what I see myself doing in five years. Hopefully having a family, hopefully meeting the one that I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life. So yeah. <laughs> Favorite MRE snack, let me think. That's there's so many good choices, guys. 
Let's be real. Uh, you know, because I feel a little patriotic. The patriotic cookies, you know? Why? Because they're, they're classic. That's all I got to say is they're classic. Dream car is a early to mid 90s Chevy 1500 full drive pickup truck. Doesn't need to be pretty. $1,200 worth of a dream car right there. <laughs> no one really plans on doing a full 20. It just kind of something that sneaks up on them. It's one day you wake up and you've been in the Marine Corps for 12 years. I also just having the opportunity to get to know people like on such a deep level. Like I know their family, their friends back home, their significant others. We'll probably never have the opportunity to know the people that I know to the level that I do. Gibson. I joined the Marine Corps in June of 2017. Started out as a joke between me and my dad. He told me I wouldn't be able to make it. And here I am. Thanks, Dad. What's next? Uh, I plan on getting out probably going to a trade school, learning a little bit more about different types of motors, different types of engines. Uh, the next four years I'm gonna do is just to get a college degree in a criminal investigation, get out, join the DEA. My GI Bill, I'm not gonna let that go to waste. I'm gonna apply to a few schools that winter when I get back and hopefully start the fall semester of 2021. Hopefully moving to California, uh, find a wife over there, get married, have a couple kids, you know. I'm trying to go to the University of Montana. I've already put in an application. Let's see if I can get my jet ed. I'm gonna go for a associate's degree with paramedicine. Have like maybe like a emphasis on like fire science, and then I'm hopefully gonna get in that department. I'm gonna become a structural firefighter. Go! Ah!